it has been proven that most major accidents are caused not by technical problems, not by weather. Most of the major accidents that have been caused have been caused by human factors. There was an accident in America on February 12th, 2009. An airplane crashed into a suburb of Buffalo and a couple of houses were destroyed and all the people killed there on board. The investigators, they found out that fatigue was a major factor in this accident. As, as the human beings in the operation, we have limits to what we can do. Airlines have continued to lower their standards. They're trying to obviously make profit and become profitable airlines, make money again. And by doing that, they're cutting cost. 11 hours is a lot to work at night. We can work 14 hours during day. You cannot do that in any other job. Why could a crew member be any different to somebody working in an office and never go to bed? They're actually doing a safety critical role and be the fire, the police, the ambulance on board an aircraft. The new flight time limitation regulation uh, is a result of a long process between uh, various uh, stakeholders. It was uh, very difficult, but it, for ETF it was very important because we could obtain an harmonization of the flight time limits for the cabin crew and the pilots. When we speak about fatigue, we are speaking really about the science of sleep. Uh, the new regulations uh, hold into account the biorhythm of your body and, and the time that your body needs to rest and to sleep. And, and it's based on, on research. So with FTL, what that's done is to control the number of hours, the maximum number of hours we can do by putting limits in place. Well, the regulations clearly outline uh, your flight limitations for day and night. It's implemented by the European uh, Aviation Safety Authority. It's purely a thing about safety. It's very important, first of all, that uh, the crew members involved uh, in the new FTL regulation know the rules. The European Commission have handed us this new book and said that's how you're going to work from now on. And no, no one's really, apart from us, said, well, what does that look like in reality? How does that work? But it isn't just a, a regulation, it's not just a book of rules. It's actually going to be a way of life. Know your rights and you will know your rights by knowing the rule. Let's inform the members, let's tell the people that are going to operate this what it actually is. Know your stuff, read it, try to understand it, and ask help within your union. Uh, this will improve their life. It has got the unions, the operators, and the national authorities working together. The relationship is improving. Those regulations can be improved via negotiation. And the only way we can do that well is to make sure that we work together in partnership with the crews and our union partners, the regulators, the CAA, and ourselves, the business. In Germany, the new flight time, rest time regulation will be a big improvement. The flight time limit limitations in the UK have helped the cabin crew. We can only work a maximum now of 16 hours, which is better for us. Now, in some member states, it has brought their levels down. But within this regulation, it was built in that if you did have higher levels of safety over and above the FTL, then those, those higher levels can remain in place. The regulations are has, has to be a baseline for everybody. One regulation across Europe that is the bottom line, it's the base level. Anyone can be above that, but they can't be below it. The new regulations will certainly empower everybody from the cabin crew leading up to the management, to the training department, right the way all the way up to the top. I think it's a very positive outlook. Looking forward. Moving forward. No. Well said. <laughs> Flight time limitations regulation is in on the 18th of February 2016. Um, so every cabin crew member and pilot in, in Europe will be covered by this regulation um, from that date. 
Um, so I do say to cabin crew and pilots, you must go out, you must find out more information because this will apply to you. It's continual potential change and assessment. So you need to be aware of the regulation, not just on the 18th of February, but continuing on from that date.